Hello and welcome to another Coffee Break Catch-Up. Now, I am hoping that you can hear me okay. Um, the monitor in my uh, ear isn't seeming to be working, but I hope you can hear me nonetheless. It looks like it's working, um, but I, as I say, there's something not quite right on the monitor in my ear. Let me just double check. Ah, that's why, because my audio monitor is off. But now I can hear myself. So welcome to another Coffee Break Catch-Up. Delighted to be back. Um, we weren't around last week because last Thursday I was in Boston, Massachusetts at the Sound Education Conference and uh, I was presenting on a panel with uh, Jess from Teachable. I'll tell you a little more about uh, the Sound Education Conference a little later. But I'm back from Boston, a little bit tired still, I have to say. Um, but getting back into the way of things and I'm delighted to see lots of people joining us today on the catch-up. We've got uh, Namrata joining us from India, we've got Fabrice joining us from San Diego, uh, Ni hao, or uh, uh, Carol um, is saying that we can hear me, so that's good. Diane is saying that, yeah, okay, so these are all audios okay. Good, thank you, Michael, and good to see that I can see the YouTube comments too. Um, so thank you for letting me know. Now, coming up a little later, we've got a discussion, a talking point all about podcasts. Obviously, we do the Coffee Break podcasts, but there are lots of other language podcasts out there and we're interested to know which ones you listen to. So that's our talking point a little later on. But for now, let us just check what's coming up on the show. Of course, as ever, we'll be sharing our, uh, our latest news, the Coffee Break news, um, let me just sort one thing here. Um, that should be better. So the Coffee Break news, obviously sharing our latest episodes, our latest videos and all the news from Coffee Break. Our talking point, as I said, we're talking about podcasts today. And then, of course, as ever, we'll be doing our cultural roundup and giving you some ideas as to the kind of things that are happening this weekend in various places around the world. So delighted to see you here. Delighted that some of you are, are commenting. Um, let us know where you're watching. We've got, uh, let me just bring this back in. So we've got Carol, who's joining us from Canada. Thank you, Carol, buongiorno. We've got LJ joining us from Marietta, Georgia. Uh, we've got Mike saying hello, Randy from PA. Uh, and we've got Christine from Stratford of Penaven. Um, and Gord is saying, Buongiorno amici miei, Coffee Break Italian da Kelona, British Columbia. Fantastic. We've got Breed, or Breed rather, sorry, from Ireland. Um, and uh, Dr. Kovacs, uh, Andrea, is saying it's a very good opportunity to study. I love these podcasts very much. Thank you very much indeed. Great to hear you. Great to see you all here. Casey's joining us from uh, Scroon Lake, I think that is. But it's fantastic to have you all here today. So let us get on, first of all, with our Coffee Break News. Okay, so coming up on our Coffee Break News today, let me bring in my slides again. Um, so starting off this week with our Italian, the most recent uh, Italian podcast. So this is uh, our, our ongoing magazine podcast. And of course, the most recent episode was about the town of Ivrea in the north of Italy, where um, we're, we're focusing on a, a festival, a festival which involves oranges. As you can see from the, the photo there, this festival involves people throwing oranges at each other. And it's all about carnival. So when in carnival, every joke is valid. And that's the name of this episode. Ogni scherzo vale. Ogni scherzo vale. Every joke is valid or every joke, get, you can get away with every joke or something like that. So it's a really interesting episode about a way in which uh, carnival is celebrated in Ivrea, um, a town in the north of Italy. So make sure you check that out if you're an Italian learner. Next, we have our most recent German podcast, a musical one this time. This is the German magazine, our Coffee Break German magazine, and we're talking about Schlager music. So, ein bisschen Schlager muss sein. That means uh, there, you've got to get a bit of, of Schlager in there. Now, Schlager, if you're not familiar with it, is 
kind of a little bit cheesy pop music. Pop music that's got a happy message, um, nothing too serious. It's always about beautiful places and about love and things like that. But Schlager is extremely popular in many places in Europe and particularly in German-speaking countries. So that's our topic for the Coffee Break German magazine episode 4, which just came out on Monday. Um, moving on, we all, sorry, episode 4 of, of German came out last Friday. Um, the Monday episode was our French podcast, also a musical one, where we were talking about uh, the, 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 the very well-known singer Edith Piaf. And you'll recognize the title there, Non, Rien de Rien. I won't sing anymore. Piaf was not here. If he were here, no doubt we'd be singing all together. But uh, this one is about Edith Piaf, La Môme Piaf, uh, the, the Little Sparrow, as she was called. Um, so it's about the life story of, of Edith Piaf and uh, all the things that happened to her, some successful, some tragic, through her life. A very interesting story there. And that's in the most recent episode of our Coffee Break French podcast. Now, if we look through there, we've had uh, our German podcast, our Italian podcast, and of course our French podcast, and there's definitely something missing. Yes, we are working on a Coffee Break Spanish magazine podcast, and that will be coming very soon. So stay tuned to find out more about that. We'll be announcing some information about the Coffee Break Spanish magazine podcast very soon. Okay, more news. Let's bring our slides back. Um, uh, we are continuing our Tune for Tuesday. We've been talking about music quite a bit in our uh, magazine podcasts this week and last week. So it's appropriate also to mention our Tune for Tuesday. And this is our feature every Tuesday where we share a tune, a song, uh, sometimes a piece of music. And this week it's the turn of Carla Bruni. Now Carla Bruni has got Italian links, but obviously French links too. And her uh, song, Quelqu'un m'a dit, is a lovely song, and if you're not familiar with it, make sure you check that out in our Tune for Tuesday playlist. Now, we also offer the, the playlist as a Spotify playlist and a YouTube playlist, so you can find the tune, have a listen, and then we'll, we'll share the links too. Um, and the, the links will allow you to basically to, to follow along uh, with the lyrics of the song. So, Quelqu'un m'a dit, a lovely song that you should definitely check out. And there's another Carla Bruni song coming up in the Tune for Tuesday playlist at some point fairly soon, I believe. And that's one of my favourite songs ever. Okay, the whole team have shared their favourite songs for uh, the, the Tune for Tuesday playlist, so you can definitely tune into Tune for Tuesday and find some musical inspiration for your language learning every Tuesday. Okay, moving on. Moving on to our YouTube content. Now, we, as you know, have been working very much on our Coffee Break studio. I'm not in the Coffee Break studio today. I'm working from home today. Um, so just uh, producing this from, from home. But uh, next week, we'll be back in the Coffee Break studio in the kitchen. Um, and you can join us there. But we did share a little bit of the making of the kitchen, or the, the Coffee Break kitchen, if you like, in a previous episode of uh, the catch-up. However, we've put a full version of this video along with an explanation of all the bits and pieces. So if you're into tech things, if you like to see behind the scenes, then make sure you watch our YouTube Studio Setup video on our YouTube channel. And that, of course, is at uh, youtube.com slash coffeebreaklanguages. That's our YouTube. Now, sticking with YouTube, we've also just launched our uh, latest YouTube uh, One Minute Language series. And that is One Minute Zulu. And I have to say, Zulu is a fabulous language. It is so fascinating. It's got all these click sounds. So in, in Zulu, you get the letter C. And the letter C, which we would pronounce as a K sound or as a S sound. So car or center. But the letter C in Zulu is, it's like a, a, a tut. So, and I'm not sure where that, I think somebody sent me a message. Yes, okay. Oh, it's my mum sending me a message. Mum, if you're watching, hello, I'll give you a wee ring later. Um, <laughs> so the, the sound C in Zulu is, is a, it's like tutting. Then you also got the sound X in Zulu, which is not like um, extra. It's not the X sound. It's actually a so it's a click that happens in both sides of your mouth. Almost like when you're giddying up a horse or something like that. 
So that's the X sound. And then the other sound is the Q sound. And this is another click. And this one sounds kind of like the cork coming out of a, a bottle. So that sounds like something like that. So what I wanted to share with you is the fabulous numbers in Zulu. I'm just going to turn my mic down a little bit. I think I'm overloading just a little bit here. So the numbers in Zulu, and I've got these in some slides because these are just fabulous. It's my favourite set of numbers in any language I've ever come across. So let me share with you the numbers in Zulu. First of all, if you can all say these along with whatever you're watching, just repeat along with me. We're going to learn some numbers in Zulu. So number one is Kunye. Try saying that, Kunye. Number two, Kubili. Kubili. Number three, kutatu, kutatu. Okay, number four, kune, kune. All going well so far. Number five, kuklanu, kuklanu. Anybody from Wales should be able to get that <laughs> sound in there. Kuklanu. So that's one to five. Fairly straightforward. Then it gets a little more complicated. Number six. Kuyisitupa. Kuyisitupa. Number seven. Kuyisikombisa. Kuyisikombisa. Number eight. This is brilliant. Kuyisishiagalombili. Kuyisishiagalombili. Number nine. Kuyisi shiagolul oh made a mess of that one. Kuyisi shiagalolunye. One more time. Kuyisi shiagalolunye. And finally, kuyishumi. Is that not a brilliant set of numbers? Imagine counting from one to ten and all those syllables and those numbers in Zulu. If anybody is a, a Zulu speaker, first of all, I apologise if my Zulu accent is not up to scratch. Uh, but if you're a Zulu speaker, then please let us know how you find those numbers in everyday life. Is it something that you, you find difficult to use those numbers? I'm fascinated by that. So that's Zulu. We are talking about Zulu, of course, because we've just released our one minute languages course, our one minute Zulu course on our YouTube channel. So check that out if you're interested in trying out a completely new language, Zulu. Okay, that is our Coffee Break news for this week. Of course, our ongoing social content is going out there on, on Instagram, on Facebook and on Twitter. We're keeping that going all the time. So make sure you check us out on social as well. Okay, it's time to move on to our talking point for this week. Our talking point for this week is about podcasts. Now, obviously, if you're watching this, the chances are you've come across Coffee Break French or Spanish or German or Italian or Chinese on, uh, on, on a podcast app. So, for example, on, on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify or on, on one of the many, many podcast apps out there. But no doubt, as a language learner, you're also listening to other podcasts. As I mentioned, I was in uh, Harvard, in, in Boston, and I was taking part in the uh, Sound Education Conference. And the Sound Education Conference was all about educational podcasting. So if I just bring up these slides, um, there it was that last Thursday and Friday um, I was involved in this conference. And uh, um, yes, I did get the, the photo of me speaking at Harvard, which I was quite pleased at. And I also met some lovely people. So on the panel that I was on, it was hosted by Chris Bohorn. So Chris is a Danish guy who runs the Actual Fluency podcast. And I've known Chris for, for some time. And Chris is very well known in the whole world of, of polyglots and language learning in general. So Chris hosts a podcast called Actual Fluency. And Actual Fluency interviews language learners and sometimes some very advanced language learners who have got lots of, of different styles of learning and techniques in, in learning. So if you're interested in, in finding out more about language learning in general, you could well check out the Actual Fluency podcast. 
the other people in the photos, um, on the, the photo on the left, that's Cindy from Duolingo. I'm sure you've come across the Duolingo app. Um, du Duolingo is uh, a, a fantastic app that allows you to practice your language learning. And Duolingo have also launched a podcast. So there's the Duolingo Spanish podcast and the Duolingo French podcast. And the other person in the photo was Rylan from the News in Slow podcast. So on the photo on the right, the person on the left is Rylan, who is involved in News in Slow Spanish and did the other News in Slow podcast from Linguistica 360. Now, one of the great things about podcasting is that everybody does it a little bit differently. So we've got different, three different podcasts represented or four different podcasts uh, represented for language learners on that panel. And each of us do things a little differently. So we focus on language lessons and helping you as a learner develop your confidence in that language. The News in uh, Slow Spanish, French and so on podcasts do things slightly differently. They're looking at news reports and using the news reports as the basis for learning. And the Duolingo podcast is telling stories in a combination of Spanish or French and English. So there's a different take on how we're all using the, the medium of audio for helping you as a language learner build your confidence and develop your language skills. And it's possible to say that, that there's no right or wrong way. There are different ways and different people will like different things. So what I'd like you to do today is share your podcast ideas, the, the, the ideas or the, the, the podcast rather that you listen to in the comments. So as usual, I'm going to give you a minute, 60 seconds to post in the comments about the podcasts that you enjoy listening to. And if you don't listen to other podcasts, that's not a problem. We're obviously delighted that you're listening to Coffee Break. But tell us what you like about Coffee Break. Why is it that you enjoy listening to Coffee Break? So two questions. What podcasts do you listen to, either for language learning inspiration or indeed for learning the specific language that you're working on? And secondly, what you think of Coffee Break, why you enjoy learning Coffee Break. And we'll share some of your ideas after uh, this one minute session here. So here we go. Okay, so thank you for posting some of your ideas. While you're still writing them, I'm going to go back and go through some of the other comments that we've had uh, earlier in the show. So we've got Barbara joining us from Idaho. Hi, Barbara. Nice to see you. Um, we've got, uh, I think that would be Sue from Myanmar. Wow, I think you're our first viewer from, from Myanmar to comment. Thank you, that. Uh, thank you, Sue. Uh, Karen is... Having a dreary day in Toronto. Um, ¿Qué tal todos? Pues yo estoy bien. I'm sorry, it's not so so good weather in Toronto today. Um, Carol is asking us a question, and this is a question that would be ideal for our Coffee Break Italian podcast. So, Carol, if you're willing, call us on the voicemail lines. We'll put them up a little later and ask us this question, and we can potentially include that in a future Coffee Break Italian podcast. It's got to do with basically adjectives and adverbs, but that's all I'll say just now. So James asking is come stai tutti, come state tutti? Um, uh, we've got Vimal who is also saying ciao. There we go, ciao tutti. Casey saying it's raining where she is. Sorry to hear that. Um, uh, we've got Michael who's joining us saying ich lerne Deutsch, sehr gut. Um, uh, Anita is joining us from Oregon. Thank you, Anita. 
Uh, Daisy saying, merci beaucoup pour tout. J'adore Coffee Break working on my Italian too. Uh, Marlene is saying, ciao dalla Svezia, dove piovi oggi? Ah, che peccato. Um, we've got Vancouver in the house with Isabella. Thank you, Isabella. And Barbara enjoyed learning some Zulu, but I think she's having enough challenges with Italian. Mamma mia. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Okay, so we asked you about the, co the podcasts that you listen to. We've got lots of responses here. Let's come and see a couple of these. So we've got Grace saying NDR Info, so Echo des Tages. So this is uh, a podcast that helps you keep up with German language and news. Fantastic. There's also a podcast from Deutsche Welle, uh, which will help you keep up with the, the German news too. Jennifer is saying, I love Coffee Break French because Mark is the best French teacher on the internet. Thank you. Um, Carol, I enjoy listening to Coffee Break Italian. It's short. I listen to my commute to work. It's packed with loads of info and you can use the info immediately. Thank you, Carol. Uh, Michael is saying, I like learning from native speakers. It helps get the pronunciation nuances right. Absolutely. So we always try to, to use native speakers, particularly on our, our later podcasts. Um, so season three and season four and so on. But obviously with German and Italian, we've got native speakers from the very beginning. Um, Gord's saying that he enjoys the personalities in, on Coffee Break Italian. Barbara, podcasts enable me to learn on my own time in a variety of situations, walking, driving, in the kitchen, etc. That's the perfect way to use a podcast um, because it's, it's very accessible and you can use it and you don't have to watch something necessarily. You can listen but still learn. Namrita is saying, besides listening to Coffee Break Spanish, which I've now listened to each season over three times, I listen to News in Slow Spanish and Notes in Spanish Intermediate. So News in Slow Spanish, we've mentioned, that's Ryland's podcast that we were, uh, we, well, we spent last week with in, in, uh, in Boston. And Notes in Spanish is created by Ben and Marina. And Ben's a very good friend of mine. Um, in fact, we've got a video filmed with Ben, a coffee break conversation that we filmed in the Retiro Park in Madrid. And that will be going on uh, YouTube in a new sort of series that's coming out soon. Uh, looking, for, uh, looking forward to that. Something very funny happened during it, but I would spoil the surprise. Uh, Grace is saying uh, Grand Reportage. So that is like the NDA Info, uh, more news reports. Uh, Rob is saying that Coffee Break Italian is brilliant. I love the enthusiasm of Mark and Francesca and the way that each point is covered and crucially exemplified. The magazine is great fun and expands the learner's horizons. Thank you, Rob. Um, Isabella is saying, apart from uh, Coffee Break Spanish, which was my first foray into Spanish learning, I also enjoy Espanol con Juan and Harlan Espanol. I'm not familiar with them, but I'll definitely check them out. Um, Grace is saying hasn't found any for Italian, any suggestions? Well, if the, the whole idea is looking at news content, then try news in slow Italian um, because the, the team at Linguistica 360 definitely do an Italian news podcast too. Casey, I listen to Doorway to Mexico for practice with Mexican conversational Spanish, but Coffee Break Spanish is the best podcast for Spanish grammar. Pues muchísimas gracias, Casey. Um, Maria is saying I like your good mood, humour and of course the detailed explanations and your passion for languages and learning them and teaching them. Ciao. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Maria. Tak, uh, tak. Uh, Maria is from Norway and Marlene is from Sweden. I love CPI because it's well structured and follows a learning progression. I also listen to podcasts such as Learn Italian with Lucrezia, Italiano Automatica, Con Nostre Parole and News in Slow Italian. Thank you, Marlene. Great to know. Um, Alex is saying from Canada, Coffee Break Spanish is the best podcast. You're an amazing teacher. I'm learning so much. Thank you so much. No one out there meets your podcast in my view. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alex. This is not why we, we decided to, to ask this question. We were talking about other podcasts, but very nice to hear the, the, the comments, obviously. Um, uh, Malin's adding, of course, I love how friendly and cheerful CBI is. Um, Namrata is saying, what I love about Coffee Break Spanish is that every time I listen to the same episode, I pick up more and more of the language as I imply the, apply the grammar rules and, as, and the new vocabulary. I enjoy the simple short servings of vocabulary with grammar thrown in with the translation challenges in the bonus version. I have learned the most from Coffee Break as I relate to Mark and all the other teachers on the podcast. Thank you, Namrata. That's great to hear. Um, Christine saying that Christine enjoys the CBF magazine, the Masterclass and Reading Club, and that's as much as you can fit in. That's the whole thing. You you do as much as you can, and you fill those um, segments of life that you have, the times that you have available, um, with uh, with the the podcast that you can find. 
Uh, Karen is saying that she bundles uh, studying Spanish via Coffee Break Spanish with walking and exercise. It's a great combination, and I would absolutely agree. Indeed, when I'm out walking, I, that's when I listen to most of my podcasts and do most of my language learning. Thank you all so much for contributing to this discussion. It's always great to hear your thoughts and have you involved in this because that's what the, the catch-up is all about. Yes, it's about us sharing information and news with you, but it's also about hearing your ideas and your uh, thoughts. And of course, as you share them in the comments, other people are seeing them and picking them up too. And this will give other people some inspiration as to what they can go off and listen to. Um, I believe that, that Cindy and Ryland, if they're not watching live, and indeed Chris, if you're not watching live, you may be watching um, the, the, the replay of this catch-up. Um, and it was great to meet you all and to, to spend some time with you last week in Boston. And it's a beautiful city. If, uh, it was my first time in Boston and I had an absolute ball. I loved visiting Boston. So if you're from Boston, you're very lucky. Okay, it's time now to move on to the final segment of the show. And that is, of course our cultural roundup. But just before we do, I, I've just remembered that we got a comment by email from Yvette, who says, I've been learning Spanish since the age of 60, now I'm 69. I have secondary school background of Spanish. I do enjoy the videos and podcasts. Coffee Break Spanish and Aprender Español con Juan are my favourites. I think I am still learning at this age and improving too. Thank you, Yvette, for sending that. That is a, a brilliant comment. It's great to know that it doesn't matter when you start, you can always learn something. And it's about using it and, and trying it out when you feel ready uh, for that. Okay, let's move to our uh, slides again and we'll move on here, if I can bring this back in. Just a, a reminder, um, Carol earlier was uh, asking a question that would be ideal for the Coffee Break Italian magazine podcast. If you've got a question uh, about French, Spanish, German or Italian, then you can call our voicemail lines. You can call 01414166880 in the UK if you in, are in the US. Call uh, 347-474-6880. And if you're in Australia, it's 0872006880. So when you call those numbers, you'll hear a voice asking you if you've got a question for the show. You press number one, and then you'll hear my voice inviting you to leave your question. And if you do get mixed up and see it wrongly, or you want to see it again, you ask the, ask the question in a different way, you can just press the hash, press the hash key or the pound key, um, and that will allow you to re-record your question. So don't worry about that. Okay, coming back then to our cultural information for this weekend. And we will just bring in this slide here. So starting... In Italy, this sounds like a fabulous festival, the Euro Chocolate Festival. Look at the number of days it goes on for. So the, from the 18th to the 27th of October, you can enjoy the Euro Chocolate Festival in Perugia in Italy. That sounds like my kind of thing. However, if you've eaten too much chocolate, then you can head to Marbella in the south of Spain, just to the west of Malaga. And in Marbella, you can take part in the Marbella Four Days Walking Festival from the 17th to the 20th of October. If you would rather be a little more sitting down or indeed take your books with you when you're going for your walking, um, then you can head to the Frankfurt Book Fair. Now, the Frankfurt Book Fair is one of the biggest book fairs in the world. And that takes place uh, this weekend. So from the 16th to the 20th. In fact, it's underway already. Yesterday it started. A huge event in Frankfurt at the, the Messe in, in Frankfurt. And if you're perhaps more interested in sport, then the French Open, the Golf Open, the Open de France, starts today in Paris. So if you're a golf fan, then you can check that out. Now, all of these events are covered in our newsletter, and we will share some links, and that will include links both in the language of the country and in English. So you can check them out, regardless of whether you're learning that language or simply interested in uh, the the show, not the show, in the event, sorry. <laughs> okay, that is almost where we're going to leave you. We've just got a few other comments uh, in here. So um, Isabella mentioned that she loves our accents, our Scottish accents, and she's Aberdonian. Fantastic. I wonder if you speak any Doric, Isabella. Um, we've got Gurbe saying, uh, easy and funny, we enjoy to learn with you. Muchas gracias, fácil y gracioso, nos gustamos aprender con tú. Okay, thank you, Gurbe. 
Um, Sipid is saying, I really like the way you teach French. Thank you. Marielle is joining us from Quebec in Canada. And Sepid is mentioning that he is Persian and he lives in Los Angeles. So thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you all for joining us today on the Coffee Break Catch-Up. Of course, as ever, we will be continuing to publish our new content. Next week, we've got our latest Italian show that we actually just recorded this morning with Francesca. And uh, I'll give you a clue. You might be feeling a little bit hungry after you listen to this particular episode. So I think you'll enjoy this one if you're an Italian learner. That's coming out on Monday. Um, and then next week we've got a couple of other things coming out that I'm not going to mention just yet, but they will be out next week and you can uh, have a look at them. You can look forward to them. Now, as ever, I always finish off in another language and today, well, I mentioned Zulu earlier, so it's only right that we sign off in Zulu. So first of all, I'll say thank you. Thank you when you're thanking lots of people in Zulu is Siabonga. If it's just one person that you're thanking, it's Ngiabonga. But when it's multiple people, it's Siabonga. The tricky one here is saying goodbye in Zulu. Because there are two different ways of saying goodbye, depending on whether you are leaving or whether the other person is leaving. So my thoughts here are, I am leaving, you're staying where you are, but I'm going off. So I'm going to say to you, Salanikahle. And there's a response to this because you're the one that's leaving. So I want you to say wherever you're sitting right now or standing or walking or in the, the tube or wherever you are, Hambani kahle. So I'll say to you, Salani kahle. You come back and say, Hambani kahle. Something like that. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Coffee Break Catch-Up. I'll be back next week with uh, some more catch-up. There, there's, we've got some special guests in next week. Uh, we're doing our, our work experience uh, for Scottish school students. So we're going to be joined by some students all week and we're looking forward to meeting them and working with them. So they may be involved in the catch-up, um, but we will definitely be uh, back with another catch-up next Thursday. In the meantime, as ever, happy coffee breaking. Thank you. Bye-bye. Salani Gashley.